Hello everybody! Hello language learners! This is Verona again from Lufa Study English Online. How are you today? Are you good? Are you well? What is the correct grammatical sentence to respond to that question? Is I am good correct? I am well wrong? Or both can be okay? To answer that question, you have to keep watching. of teaching English to the non-native speakers of the language, I have come up my own list of common problems, confusion, and misunderstanding related to English language based from my personal experience teaching online and offline. And I would like to tackle this one by one in my following videos, including this. If you want to join me, you can subscribe to my channel. To answer to the question, how are you, which is, which, which is the right response between the two sentences, I am good and I am well, let's get to know what is an adjective and what is an adverb. I am good, the good there is, a ver is an adjective, and I am well, the well there is an adverb. Good is an adjective. And well is an adverb. So let's take a look. Adjective tell us about a noun. Adjective tell us about a noun. What is a noun? A noun is a word in a sentence that can be a name of a person, a thing, a idea, an animal, a place. It can be a proper noun or it can be a common noun. So, it can be a proper noun is a specific name. Common noun, it can be the general name of thing. Like, okay. So, let's take a look on the sentence here. Like, Rick is a careful driver. What are the noun? What is the noun here? Rick. Rick is a subject there. I think there are two nouns there. Here are we have Rick and the driver. Rick there is the proper noun and the driver is a common noun. Okay, so Rick is a careful driver. So tell us about a noun. Okay, so we have already identified, identify what is a noun. So let's identify, let's find out what is the adjective there that tells us about the noun. Can you guess? Yeah, it is careful. Careful driver. Rick is a careful driver. So careful there is an adjective because it talks about a noun, which is Rick, careful, or here, the driver. Rick is a careful driver. Okay, understand? What is an adverb? An adverb Tell us about a verb. Tell us about a verb. What is a verb? A verb is a word that makes the subject in motion. It tells us an action, an occurrence, or a state of being. And it also gives us more information about the subject. For example, Stephanie dances every Sunday. Dances there is a action because it moves, right? It's, there is an action in it. Stephanie dances every Sunday. Occurrence, Stephanie became a professional dancer. Occurrence is to happen. Stephanie became a professional dancer. And the state of being is Stephanie prefers to dance more than to sing. Okay, so now you know what is a verb. 
So now, let's look on the example here about the adverb. Let's find out what is an adverb. Okay? So, example here, Rick drove carefully along the narrow road. Rick drove carefully along the narrow road. So what is the verb there? The word that describes action, occurrence, or state being, state of being, is drove. Drove there is the past tense of drive, and this is a verb of action. So Rick drove carefully along the narrow road. So now we already identify what is the verb. Okay, so now, since adverb tell us about a verb, so what is the subject that tells about the verb drove? It is carefully. Rick drove carefully along the narrow road. It talks about how Rick drives or drove. So this is the adverb. And going back to the adjective so you see adjective tell us about a noun and adverb tell us about a verb okay so second second differences okay a second different thing about adjective and adverb adjective describe only a noun so they only describe only a noun in a sentence for example she is a graceful dancer. So graceful there, describe about her, about the subject she. And here, the adverb can describe a verb, an adjective, an adverb. So we know this three, right? So example, she dances gracefully. She dances gracefully. So, dances, we all know, is the verb because it's the action. And this is gracefully. And adjective. Okay? She's extremely graceful. She's extremely graceful. So, what is the adjective there that tells about the, about the subject? It is graceful. And what is the verb? Uh, what is the word that tells about graceful? Extremely. So here, extremely here is the adverb. Okay, she is. She tells about the adjective. And then the third one about the adverb. She dances really gracefully. She dances really gracefully. So here. Verb dances, really is the adverb, and gracefully is the adverb. Remember that in making an adjective to form into an adverb, you just add to add ly or y, like become graceful, become gracefully. Careful becomes carefully. But guys, but learners, you have to remember that there are Certain words that ends in Y, but it's not, but it's not an uh, adverb like pretty. Pretty is not an adverb, though it ends in Y. This is an adjective. Okay? Alright. So another thing to know the difference, to know if to use an adjective or an adverb is this one. Adjective, it only describe the verbs of senses and to be okay so what are the verbs of senses the verbs of senses are the sight the taste what else the touch the hear the hearing right so these are the verbs of senses remember the verbs of senses only adjective okay like you look horrible you don't say you look horribly you say, you look horrible. It tastes delicious. You don't say it tastes deliciously. No. It tastes delicious. Remember, the verbs of senses takes only the adjective. Okay? And 
the to be what are the to be verbs i think i have discussed the to be verbs before right this is the is the um and the are in the simple present tense and in the past tense is the was and the were right so here they take adjective the rock star was wild the rock star was wild you don't say the rock star was wildly no the rock star was wild another example the cat tail is long the cat tail is long so is was okay adjective verbs of senses and to be okay with the adverbs the adverb can answer question how when where or to what extent the degree let's look at the examples okay like she dances gracefully how does or how does she dance how gracefully gracefully second she dances really gracefully so it's also like how right and here she's extremely graceful it's also the same with the extent to what extent extremely okay so going to your to our sentences the answer to the question how are you today some students say i am good verona i am well verona and you so some people think oh which is some student asked which is right verona i am good since you said that to be i am good to be should be i am good is right because based from the from the grammar rule to be verb takes adjective and good is an adjective and well is not an adjective well is the adverb of good right so okay you are right with that you can say i am good that's correct but but remember if there is a rule there are also some exemption of the rule and here it is i am well is one of the exemption of the rule okay because if you want to talk about the well being of the person or about the health you can say i am well i am well is right when you talk about the health the well being how are you i am well verona okay i hope i have answered your question thank you very much for watching today I hope to see you to my next video. Bye! Let us make English easy and interesting. Contact me at lufaverona at gmail.com.